Hello, my name is Pat Matheson and I'm a curator of art here at the Red Deer Museum and Art Gallery and I share the responsibility with jo Joanne Gruenberg. We are taking part in a series of videos here to show off the highlights of our art collection. My goal today is to talk about three artworks that we were recently given by a Red Deer uh, artist, David Plumtree. Uh, they're three watercolors and we're really happy to have them in our, new co in our collection. David and his wife Elizabeth moved to Red Deer in, in the early 1970s from Britain when he accepted a job with the Red Deer Regional Planning Commission. They soon purchased a house down on 56th Street in between 49th and 47th Avenues. This area, 56th Street, is known as Son-in-Law Row as Reverend Gates, who founded our city here, it was the site of his original farmstead. And when he developed his property for the development of the downtown Red Deer, um, he kept back 56th Street for wedding presents for his daughters. He had six, and as each daughter was married, he was, they were given a lot. Many of the houses that were built on these lots are still standing. David was first introduced to watercolor through university in an option course, and for many years he practiced on his own as just sort of a, an amateur artist. He at one point though met a few other community artists and they formed a group called the Group of Several, who were very active, they met weekly, they did shows together, and uh, just had a great time from the sounds of things. Um, eventually it, it all kind of wound down and David continued painting on his own. The three works that we are looking at today were part of a series of 12 paintings that he did of these houses on 56th Street that belonged to his neighbors and friends. Um, these three houses are not part of the Gates um, family homes, but they were part of home, or they were homes that were built um, shortly after, in the early 1910s, 20s, and stuff. David's house, the first house that we're going to talk about today, is 4754. 56th Street and it's a small cottage style uh, cottage. They bought in 1974 and lived in it until Elizabeth's passing in 2020. David started to do this series over a concern of what possibly could happen on 56th Street. On 55th Street, the, the uh, neighboring street, it has all become a row of, uh, of apartment buildings and condominiums and stuff, and they were worried that these historic homes could be lost to infills. In David's own home on 56th Street, uh, it, is, it sits on the site of the actual Gates' farmstead home site. And in the backyard, right in behind that chimney kind of an area, is a crab apple tree that Reverend Gates himself planted, and it's still thriving, still producing apples every year. The second house that David has donated to us was 4742, which is a couple houses down the street from theirs, but on the same north side. Uh, this house is locally known as the manager's house. Um, and it came by that name because the first owner and builder of this home was a bank manager for the Canadian Dominion Bank. And everybody in the neighborhood has continued to call it the manager's house ever since. According to David, it has gone through a number of different renovations on the inside and the outside, but two owners before now renovated the exterior to look very much like it did originally when it was first built, with the exception of there's a little annex on the side that is new. The third house we're looking at here is called the Mance, or the Rutledge House. And it came by that name because the first minister that lived in this house was by the name of Rutledge. And he was a minister for a church downtown. And over the years, it was a Mance for a, sh a certain church downtown. And it is in the early craftsman style too, uh, built in about roughly 1918, 22, and through that period. It looks very similar to what it looked like back then when it was first built. Mm -hmm. 